Um, <laughs> well, it would be an easy one to say. Well, would like to hear you articulate why you chose to write on this. Um, this was one class period in 18th century literature, and yet you, and you didn't even have to write on it. I think we did some in-class discussions, so there wasn't even a reading response. So what was it that animated you to such a degree that you decided to you know, commit to this months-long project on a writer that even, you know, even yet, today, is still fairly unknown. Mostly, um, I've always had this uh, connection to how women were treated in the past. And so when we discussed Mary Leeper in class, and I saw not only how she um, completely criticized the patriarchal system, but the fact that she took it a step further and created an alternative for women, and you don't really see that. Nearly um, in the 18th century, you see women talking about what they're going through, like uh, the critic Green was commenting on Mary Leeper, how they just merely go through their experiences. But Leeper took her poetry a step further and she completely demolished the patriarchy system and the root and the roots of where it started. And she did it through her poetry and through her language. And then the fact that she didn't have a lot of schooling, she was a domestic servant, she wasn't your typical high class woman poet. So she essentially just broke these barriers that you would typically have in view of female poet of the 18th century because she didn't fit the standards. and you just look at how it's written, it does look like she's just merely stating of her difficulties of being a woman writer, of being a woman herself, and how you know women must go through this role. But if you take a step further, and I didn't actually realize this until I revisited um, Adrienne Rich. And so Adrienne Rich has a style of revision, and Adrienne Rich, a 20th century um, critic, is known as a radical feminist. And so I saw connections, and it was because I saw those connections, the fact that she uses the same revision that Adrian Rich uses, which is 1970s is the starting of the women criticism and feminine criticism. And the fact that she was using these same things in the 18th century is why I took the side of her being more radical feminist, because it was very unheard of during the time. <laughs> So when Richard Green talks about her and talks about her as conservative, he seems to be um, really focused on uh, the poetic form. And what is it about her poetic form, I guess, that would lead him to see her as conservative? So Green focused on her relationship with Alexander Pope and how, okay, uh, her relationship with Alexander Pope and how Pope used, um, satire and a couplet form and obviously through Lieber's poem she uses the same satire so he was pretty much claiming that she was in the same um, it's called scrilliparian writing as him and so she said that because he said that because she was in this um, she was more talking of like using satire to focus on issues rather than but that he didn't really I feel like he didn't really look at exactly 